There you go. You're on again, aren't you? Yep. All right. Oh, this might have no. Just got a little more attitude than That's the other it. one. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. A little afternoon snooking. Well, what's up, folks? We are off of Marco Island once again. One of the most beautiful. Oh, one of the most beautiful spots here in the Gulf of Mexico. We've got Captain Chris Brim with us today. We got down here a little bit early to Marco Island. We're supposed to be fishing tomorrow. He said, "Hey, let's get out today. We can probably go pop us some snook." So. Here's what you do when you get down early. And if you you do half days too, right? Absolutely. So absolutely. what Chris can do, he can put a half day on top of a morning trip and uh, you guys can come out here in the afternoon and catch some fish. It, uh, it's, it's definitely a different experience getting out here and fishing until dark than it does till well, wake up really in the dark and dark. don't have to go till dark. But. Nope. Blair Wiggins Outdoors is brought to you by Starbright. Blending technology with performance since 1973. Seaguar, always the best. Lose, feel the difference. Coastal Conservation Association, Florida, the voice of recreational anglers for over 35 years. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anywhere and buy Costa sunglasses. See what's out there. Yeah, you get that 40 class mark. I mean, that's a great fish. There he is. Okay, I'll go to live bait. Easier to feed him than it is to fool him. That's it. Look at it. Okay. Not a bad fish. Good nice start. afternoon snook. That's it. Let's see if we can get his big brother. I want his mama. Oh, there we go. Instant. Oh, missed him. Oh, I can see him up there. You yep. can see him on the bank. Yep, look at all of them coming across there. Three or four right there. There's fish. There you go, Blair. Little snooker. It's all right. An afternoon delight. That's it. Come here, little dude. Nice one. Jumper. That kale style hook works really good. He is definitely a skinny male. <laughs> Pretty fish. There's a fish. Oh, yep. Fish on. That's a little bit better one. A little bit better one there, Blair. Oh, he's just got an attitude. <laughs> I like them when they got attitude. It means they want to fight. Mid 20s. Little skinny male. Need to find out what he was after. You can get him over there. Get him over here. Yeah, if it's a real, if it's a, a dandy, you yeah. can get him over here. Can't get over how clean these fish are out here. Super, yeah. Translucent almost. Yep. They, you know, it's just crazy. How, you know, they get this clean water. They sit in this clean water and just, you know, they just lighten up so much. I do like seeing them great big black ones though from the back country. Yeah. <laughs> Those will get your blood pumping a little. It's a goner. Yeah. Stabbing like three There's times. a good fish. There's a nice one. There you go. Sounds Woo. a little better. Get him over here. Let me show that translucent one off. Absolutely. Oh, 
another nice one. Another Marco Island snook. Pretty one. Yeah. Let him go to get bigger another day. All right. Got him? Yep. Nope. Come on, button again? Yeah, that's a pretty good size. There's bait. a fish. Oh, there's a fish. Get a little bigger. Jack Crevalle. Jack Crevalle. The Jacker. The old Jack attack. Let's see if this guy stays on. Oh, he did. Jack attacker. Canal tuna. You ever fried them up that size? I never have. I got a guy that swears by them. You know, it's crazy, you know, you ask that because I get so many people that say they're good eating, and I've heard other people say they're that's, terrible. That's about the biggest you ever want to get really? right there, yeah. I had a guy tell me one time that the big ones, like the nine, ten pounders, yeah. when you smoke them. He said they're delicious smoke. Uh, what did he you tell me? me he was frying them. Really? Yeah. Do big fish fry out you know, every year and use his Jack Crevel. Really? Well, welcome back, folks. What we've done, we were on the other side of the bar a little earlier and we saw some tarpon rolling over here and the tide changed on us. So uh, Chris pulled up the old power pole and we came over on this side and Hopefully we're gonna do snook on the right and tarpon on the left. We'll see what happens. Late day afternoon. Oh, bait running. Look at that. You see one roll right there? Fish on. Get him, brother. Oh, tarpon on the left and snook on the right. You gotta love that. Let's get a double, boy. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. He's gonna take you to the back of the boat, I think. Nice. It's out here. Three o'clock or nine o'clock, sorry. Coming to ten. <clears throat> Put that over his back so he can come straight up. He's wanting to come. Nice. for that double. <clears throat> There's a couple of them out there, boy. You know, I don't care what size they are. They are all just absolutely beautiful. He might be, you might need a little hand with him. Yeah, he's a little bigger than the, than the other ones, I think. <laughs> Look out! Why do they jump? You know, it's only the males that jump, right? They like to feel the wind on their... <laughs> Oh, oh, might have us a double. Double? Something made it. Come on, eat it again. Oh, yeah, he had it. He had it, brother. This one missed it twice before he ate it. We still got a little time before we're ready to grab him, don't you? <laughs> Gotta make it sound good. Always get accused of having loose drags. I'm like, no, not here. He likes it underneath your boat here. Yeah, he likes the bottom of the 
The old Blazer Bay here, huh? The Blazer Bay. I think he's just looking at that Yamaha outboard. <laughs> <laughs> that brand new Yamaha. <laughs> How new is that one? How new is that one? Yeah. That's a 2015. She got 3,000 hours on her. That's a legal catch. Yep. You know, everybody always asks me, what do you mean when you touch the leader, it's a legal catch, you know? I've said it a couple times on the show, but it's, it's when they, back in the old days when they used to kill tarpon, catch them, kill them, if they're close enough to stick a gaff in, usually they have their, uh, they have the leader in their hand back in the day. So if you leader a fish, he's pretty much caught in my book. And that's about it, anybody's book. But this one here is definitely caught. Look at that hook just fell out, Blair. Right in the perfect spot. Very cool. What a beautiful fish. He's mixing, missing the scale off the top of his head. No, he's not. Pretty fish. What do you think? What do you think the age is on one that size? I'd probably say three years old, maybe. Three, four years old. No, it takes them like seven years, something like that, eight years to become breeders. Full size, right? Well, breeding size. Yeah. Man, what a cool fish. I'll take Thank it. You, brother. Sounds great. Well, stay tuned. We're going to get re rigged and uh, hopefully show you another one of them. Those are fun. Afternoon delights. That's it. Good job. There he is. Got him. Fish on, get him, brother. Oh, perfect size little tarpon. Will he stay on? So far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> so a snooky afternoon turning into a pony afternoon. Yeah, that's it. I guess we can catch a 40 inch long tarp and that'll yeah, work too, that'll right? Work, that'll work. How many times you catch tarpon out here? We see them quite a bit. I mean, we, you know, when we filmed just a few months ago, we were just over there when we were tarpon fishing, not, but. Come on, get some air, buddy. There you go. Oh, you can, might be able to do him by yourself. <laughs> that's not the same one I saw roll. No. It's stacked in here though, that's good. Maybe that's we can catch a couple more of them in here. Definitely not the same one I saw roll. You want to try to take him to the other side? To get yeah, the boat? if you can, yeah. Yep. Are you going under? Yep. They never want to do go to the camera side of the boat, do they? <laughs> I'm not sure the pound test on there, but That's it's right. pretty heavy. You gotta get him over here so we can show him off to the camera. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying, here he comes. There you come, you little dude. Now these sides will hurt you too. Especially they come shooting straight up at you. Like the big ones do. Yeah. He didn't like that, did he? He don't like you, Blair. Hook him in the bottom. Easy there, little dude. That hook is right in the wrong spot. So grab his bottom lip. Don't you do it. All right, got him. A great big shiner. That's it, big old pilchard. <laughs> hey, Bill, you think you can find a bass that would eat that one? <laughs> what a pretty little fish. Awesome. Awesome. 
Oh, they look like they were ch chiseled out of a piece of ice, That's I always it. say. Nice little afternoon delight, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll take that. Definitely. All right, folks, time to show you what Captain Chris and I were out there using today. You know, right over my shoulder here just happens to be where I caught my very first snook, and you never forget your first snook. And just like the other day when we were out there with Captain Chris, he said, get out here on a half day, and I guarantee we'll catch you some fish. So we went out there, and he put the power poles down on the sandbar, and we spent the whole afternoon there and the fish were absolutely turned on. We were using pilchards, and it's a lot easier to feed them than it is to fool them. We tried a little bit of uh, artificials on them and they just didn't turn on, so that's when we started firing the live bait up there. Absolutely turned those fish on. And I tell you one thing that helped our catch improve was the Seaguar fluorocarbon leader that we had. If they were to see our line out there, I seriously doubt we would have caught any fish at all, even using the live bait. So if you ever get a chance, make sure you use some Seaguar fluorocarbon because it will improve your catch tremendously. That water was crystal clear and they couldn't see the line, that's for sure. We were using live bait hooks. These are three aught hooks by Laser Sharp. And um, I, we were using hooks that were basically fitting to the size of the fish that we were catching. We knew we weren't gonna catch anything really, really big out there that day, but we knew there could be a chance we could catch some good fish, so we did have a pretty good size hook on there. But uh, if Captain Chris ever calls you and says, hey brother, you better get down here, the fish are on, we can get out on a half day and probably catch enough to make a show, uh, make sure you take him up on his offer and go catch you some fish. We'll see y'all on the water. Well, welcome back folks. We are coming to the end of this great half day that we had with Captain Chris and uh, we've come back right next to Marco Island here, his secret little spot. And uh, we're gonna see if we can show you a fish at the end of the day. Hopefully a big fish. A big fish. We won a tournament here last weekend, right? Eh? Last weekend, yep. Last Saturday we caught a 39 inch snook right here. So see if we That's can't do snook. it again. That's a good snook anywhere. That's it. Especially when you're Fishing for a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is your tournament winning spot? This is where we caught that big one on Saturday for our tournament. One it's big a snook. It's a secret spot though. It's like, well, it's really hard to find something like this. Let's, yeah. Like a spot you're from the condos. Mm-hmm. She knows she's to do like 75 miles an hour. Mm hmm There's one up in Naples that goes to the beach that, you know, kind of like the party island key waiting up there. Yeah. And uh, guy had a seven marine and one day, look at that snook right there. There it is right there. <laughs> Just as I was bringing it up. And almost, almost caught a bird. <laughs> what you got on there, Blair? A little snooky. I got one too. Look at that. Oh, they just turned on. Look at that. Little males in here, huh? Yeah, there's some some bigger ones underneath there, I'm sure, but these guys got to eat too, right? Yes, yeah, so this makes what? Six, seven snook, three tarpon? Yeah, seven snook, yeah. Six and seven here, three tarpon, one redfish, and a Jack Cravel. Oh, mine just came off. Easy there, buddy. Long and skinny. Well, brother, I think it's time we point it back to the hotel. Sounds good to me. We'll get after it tomorrow. Check in. Hopefully, Frederick up there at the Cove will remember that I'm coming in late. But, Let's uh, hope so. If y'all ever want to do this, make sure you tune in to BWO online or on Ballot Sports. Yeah, we're all over the place. So check where we're at. Don't forget about the website, BlairWigginsOutdoors.com. And you want to come book this guy right here, Chris Broom, you can do it at MarcoIslandCharterFishing.com. We'll see y'all on the water. Blair Wiggins Outdoors is brought to you by Starbright, blending technology with performance since 1973. Seaguar, always the best. Lose, feel the difference. Coastal Conservation Association, Florida, the voice of recreational anglers for over 35 years. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anywhere. And by Costa Sunglasses, 
see what's out there. Hey, we got a double. <laughs> We're gonna get this island covered. I got mine. 